the end of the day, ball screens are just basketball, no matter which type of system you're playing with or no matter the coach. Um, I just tell John that sometimes let me just play off you because he's a smart, obviously he's a smart big man and he's high IQ. And I just want to get to just play off him sometimes. I know I'm the point where he plays off me, but sometimes John, Pop, bro, do whatever you need to do, and I'll just find you. You were talking about coach, and uh, one of the lasting images from Bahamas was him dancing in front of the team and team responding to him. This is pretty serious business, but how do you see him finding joy in creating it with what you do? And trying to keep him under 44. We love it. Um, just being able to have a coach like that that's out there that's having fun, that can relate to us on the court, it's, it's, it's outstanding. Um, we're extremely grateful for him. We're thankful for him, and we just uh, want to keep listening to him. Just want to keep following his lead. Is there time in the day? Sorry, is there time in the day with with your day to day for you to to go ask him questions and pick his brain about his time and, and different levels of what he's done? Of course, there is. Um, obviously, with classes, so some days are busier than others. But there's his his door is always open. Not just to me, but to everyone on the team, anyone that's inside the box. His door is always open. He's open to just talk to us about things outside of basketball, basketball, whatever it is. That's what type of coach he is. What What do you specifically try to seek out? Stories about his time at the next level, or <laughs> stories about time here? Um, yeah, some things around that matter. But then again, you know, um, right now I'm just staying focused on the season. The story may come up every now and then, but I don't want to be in his desk at 1 o'clock on a Wednesday afternoon asking about a story here. I mean, he got a lot of things on his plate. He don't need to be trying to break that down and tell us those type of things. In-game, in do you feel you have a little more freedom uh, under Juwan and his coaching staff? Than maybe I feel like I have freedom with both of the coaches. Both of the coaches trust me 100%. Um, so it's not like I have more freedom here, more freedom there. Both of them trust me. They can put the ball in my hands and trust my decision making. Your your assist numbers are, are up. Pretty much everything. <coughs> the turnovers are, are up a little bit too. Is there a reason for that that you can pinpoint? No, there's no reason. Do you, do it's you, basketball. Do you feel like if you make a turnover, you maybe it's okay. You're not going to get necessarily taken out of the game, or kind of what's the the dynamic? My mind says I'll make the turnovers. The things that I could have done. Um, why did I do that? Just toast out the thing, but. At the end of the day, I just move on to the next play. I don't got time to be kind of out there thinking or debating or knocking myself about the turn. I just made, um, as Juwan said, next play, next play mentality. How do you feel like your game has grown since Juwan was hired? Um, it's grown a lot. I'm constantly learning, still learning too today, which is good. I just want to keep learning. Um, Coach Howard Isley has helped out a lot. He's helped out tremendously. And I just want to keep learning from him. Every single day, I just want to take the most piece of knowledge that I can and I just be able to grow as a person and a basketball player. What are some of those ways in which you've grown? I've grown with pretty much all aspects of my game, just um, the IQ, being able to see different actions, um, see things I could have did, watching a lot of film, a jump shot, confidence, um, screen, up, pick and roll on offense and, and defense and just all types of things. What does Coach Isley's teaching style like? Um, he teaches when I was real laid back. Um, he kind of just, I don't want to say let you do whatever you do. He just kind of throw a couple hints in here every now and then. But those hints are things that actually can help you improve your game dramatically. So that's why I appreciate him. Um, he's definitely a player's type of coach. On the sideline, when I come out the game, I'm always talking to me on things, I, things I see um, after the games. He's watching film, me things that have matter. So I feel like he's good. How, how quickly were you able to build that relationship with him being a new coach and everything? Um, I feel like I don't want to say it was too quick because he's definitely a little laid back. Um, but then again, uh, I like the way it is now. It's real strong now, and um, so we develop a good relationship. Did you see the growth of Austin, Brandon? Obviously, we've seen it from Eli and David in practice throughout the offseason. When did you kind of see that what hap has happened for them and those big performances was possible? Um, I feel like it was great. Sometimes you got to just wait your turn. Obviously, David and Eli have been doing phenomenal. Uh, Brandon and Austin come in and Colin come in and really give us those spark minutes. means a lot. Uh, we've seen it. We've seen it every day in practice. This is another opportunity for them to go out there and show the fans, show the world what they're capable of as well. Coach has talked about how he's lets everybody lead. I know you've always been vocal with, with your leadership. How has that kind of emboldened other players on this team to know that they can speak up if they see something, if they're confident in something? Um, I feel like energy is contagious. Leadership is contagious. So once a guy is talking, or once a guy leading by example, or leading vocally, or doing something, holding guys accountable, I feel like it's contagious and it also other players. And that's something that John and I myself has been doing really well. Speaking of your leadership, have you, have you adjusted at all this year to kind of how you deal with guys? Maybe, you know, you, you talked no. about Colin going, no. No, I mean, I have a good relationship with everyone off the court, so that's why I feel like our relationship on, on, on the court can never affect outside of basketball. So that's my goal, just trying to get guys, get to know guys personally. So on the court that they know is nothing personal, and be able to hold them accountable at the same time, then be able to hold myself accountable as well. How does that work with, uh, say, the, you know, the two new freshmen then? Is it a... I develop a relationship off the court by just getting to know them, mm -hmm. things of that matter. So when we get on the court, they know it's all out of it's a brotherhood. It's nothing negative or nothing to pick on them individually. It's a brotherhood.
Xavier, Coach Coach Howard, he hasn't designated team captain for this team, has he? Um, yes, he, I mean, yes, kind of. I mean, yes, he has. Oh, okay. Oh, there's official team captains? Yes. Like, okay. Who is it? Is it you? John, John and myself. Just you two? Yes, I believe. For now, that's what he said. Okay. Cool. When did he, when did he tell you guys that? Because I know we were in the A couple weeks ago. Yeah.